Do you remember when you were a kid and pretty much every single book that you read had pictures in? I miss that. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Lydia here. So today's video is about pictures in books. Because when I was a kid, this was my favourite book. This is The Jolly Postman by Janet and Alan Alvog. Now I loved this book and part of the reason I loved it is because look at it. It is so awesome and it's just packed full of pictures and it's amazing and oh my god. And now this is my favourite book. No pictures whatsoever. None. And what happened to all the pictures? Now I get why there are pictures in kids books, obviously you're still learning to read when you're young and it's good, it's all the colours and everything just makes you interested in books and all that stuff. So I get why there are pictures in kids books. What I don't get is why there aren't any pictures in adults books. Because pictures are awesome and they're pretty and they're cool and they're funky and everything and I know we have graphic novels and we have comic books and that's great but I want pictures in fiction books and you know every other book that I read because they're really cool the only times these days when you really get pictures in books is either in like autobiographies where they have like random photos of the person in the middle of the book or in kind of readers digest reprints of classical books so for example I have a copy of Pride and Prejudice and in the middle of the book there are just random pictures okay they're not amazing but they're pictures now I understand to a certain extent when you're an adult you don't need pictures to attract you into reading a book. You know, you just pick up a book based on the story. And as a result of that, you don't need them there. And a lot of people might say, well, you know, if there's a picture of something there, it will kind of um, mean that it's not wholly a person's imagination creating the story. And I get that as well. But why is there no pictures whatsoever? Now obviously there are some that have them in, Miss Peregrine had them in, uh, S has them in, um, there are books that do have pictures, but it just makes me sad because I love reading, I love creating a world out of my own imagination, but pictures make things pretty <laughs> and it's just exciting like I don't know about you but if I'm reading something that does have pictures in and you can normally tell when there is a picture in like a, a just general uh, reading book because the page will be different the paper will be different so you can see it coming from like if you're like three pages away you can see it sort of the paper is different in three pages and you'll get excited and be like oh what's that picture about <laughs> and it's a terribly random thing I know it has no importance at all on the book but it would just be nice and I think it would just add something to books because books can look amazing. The covers of books these days are just so mind-blowingly brilliant but they could be even more awesome if there were pictures inside as well. It's probably just me being crazy but let me know below if you do also like pictures in books and miss them and why can't we have them back because I won't feel as weird if you do. Anyway, I will see you again on Monday with another video. Hopefully it'll be a slightly more together video than this video was. But until then, I hope you have a good weekend and I will see you then. Bye!